Recently, Councilmember at Large Janae Ayers hosted a Coffee and Conversations event with State Senator Ian Conyers at McDonald's on West 8 Mile in Detroit. Let's get hard in these neighborhoods. So you guys are going to see some uh, pretty cool stuff. It's a couple things that are happening. Um, Russell Woods in that area. There's going to be there's going to be a big um, revitalization over there. And so they've got some neighborhoods already planned, and then some more will be coming online. So we'll see it happening. Yeah, yeah, made me feel better. Several Detroit residents were in attendance, in which their community concerns were addressed. Senator Ian Conyers also provided information and resources regarding state government. Thank you. Right. Aww. Okay. This is the Some best. Oh, I put it in the office. That's right so there. nice. Look. And while I love having people that move here from other places, I want to make sure that when they hire these planners, that they're people that actually understand our communities. Because Detroit is an anomaly, in my opinion. We're just different than a lot of other places. And so if you don't know us or spend time at least trying to learn us, then you won't grasp what it is that we really want in our communities and what we really need. Detroit, we had a wonderful turnout for our coffee and conversation uh, with Senator Ian Conyers. We've got some really good issues addressed, some good topics, and it's just been fulfilling. It's really great to get out and just be here in the community and to get a surprise. So this is what I think the constituents want, and it says, thank you, Councilwoman Ayers, you kept your promise. And that's what it's about. If somebody asks you to do something to address an issue, just keep your promise and address the issue. So we don't always get these type of things every day, but I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So I have to obviously give a special shout out to the Indiana, Kentucky, uh, Wisconsin Block Club. And thank you so much for this acknowledgement, but it's really about you all. You all keep your promise to stay in the city, to just love the city. And, and that's my job and that's what I'm doing for you. So thank you so much, Detroit. And we will let you know when our next Coffee and Conversation is.